Hey. All right. Reviews. Back up in here, yo. Shazam. Well, this is the wrong. This is actually Shazam. It's okay. You're not Black Adam. I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, movie review for Shazam. Uh, I actually watched the early uh, release almost about two weeks ago. Yes. Um, however, I waited for my associate here to finally watch it as well. Plus, it gave me the chance to do a lot of reflection on it. Hopefully, give you guys some more insight uh, compared to some other reviews out there. So, let's dig right into it. So, um, a lot of people were uh, anticipating this one and also dreading Shazam was, as well. I was dreading. I, I had no... <laughs> I had no hopes whatsoever for Shazam, which I kind of didn't have any for Aquaman, which it did better than I expected mm -hmm. for Aquaman, and then Shazam, I was like, well, I mean, one time, um, maybe, ha. could they get two? Could they do two in a row, right? Yes. Um, so that was the biggest thing. Uh, a lot of people were skeptical of uh, Zachary Levi as well. Um, Reviews are technically in from pretty much almost every outlet at this point. Um, pretty positive. Um, normally, Warner Brothers does not release a film early for so many people to review because they're concerned. Um, a lot of the people standing behind us. Because uh, <laughs> that movie didn't do I mean, well. Because they already lost two of them, right? Yeah. So two of those are already gone. Technically. One might not be for sure. But... Um, <laughs> We digress. Um, now, casting. Uh, I definitely will say that Zachary Levi pulls off yeah, he did a uh, good job. the Shazam character, uh, persona, I will say, uh, really well. What do, you, what do you think? Yeah, he did a pretty, pretty good job with it. I'm like, okay, he gave it the same sort of innocence and all kinds of stuff going on to portray the way the character is. Uh, a lot of people will probably recognize him from uh, Chuck. Yes. Uh, that's why I remember I remember seeing him in, in that at first. So he does a pretty good job. Uh, I didn't really think he was going to have an issue. I was concerned whether or not I would believe the superhero suit, uh, which is kind of believable. I mean, yeah. there are moments where you're kind of like, it does look a little fake. Yeah. But you kind of get over that considering the film does, makes a point to not take itself too seriously, right? Yes, because they even make jokes about the suit. And the superheroes pick, depict it with them in the, in behind us. So uh, riddled throughout the film, uh, there are references. He lives in a world, this is a world, uh, that is well aware of all the Justice League heroes. Yes. And all the kind of happenings uh, thus far in the DCEU. Um, now, uh, casting Mark Strong as the villain, uh, Dr. Thaddeus uh, Savannah. Yes. Uh, what would you say... I mean, Mark Strong is, in my opinion, one of the pretty good, solid actors, whether he's casted as a villain or a good guy. Yeah. Um, and it is something that I think he brings to the table uh, from what we see from the trailers and then what we saw in the film um, that, you know, you kind of expect from him. You kind of yeah. expect him to give you a good performance. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, I mean, you could, as a villain, you did a good job. I mean, the whole, like, stoic, strong, I got something to prove-ish type villain the way he was. I mean, he did a good job with it. And then would you say he does a, I think he does a good job playing like, almost like a classic, like comic book style villain. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he does a good job with that. I mean, in terms of just the, the motive and what drives him and things like that, yeah. Okay. And then uh, also you have uh, Asher Angel, who played uh, Billy Batson. Uh, those who may not have any family member or yourself ever watched the Disney Channel, that's kind of where he's popular from. Um, so I know, uh, pretty sure kids will love him. Uh, I will say language overall was a little, uh, higher on the scale than what I expected. Uh, uh definitely more geared towards, like, early teen yeah, to yeah. late teen. It wasn't fully kids. They, you know, they threw in some, yeah. like, adult uh, language here and there. Yeah, a couple, a couple, uh, you know, ASSs and, uh, basically, like I said, like, uh, language you think maybe, like, schoolyard kids would say, like, in their teens. Basically, like, early Early high school, maybe uh, senior of the senior level. Um, what about uh, the story? What would you, how would you rate the story for this? The story overall, I mean, it wasn't like the 
the most amazing superhero story yeah. I've ever seen. But they made it fun. So they made it, they try to make it the most entertaining they possibly can make it and just say, okay, we're gonna go through a superhero ride of just action, adventure, just fun. Mm -hmm. And they want to kind of convey the whole funness of the superhero and being a superhero. Yeah, I think from that aspect of it, um, I'm gonna rate this for me personally. Uh, they they got it kind of right with Wonder Woman. I think they could have been better, although they literally, like me and you have discussed multiple times, pretty much try to steal Captain America's storytelling. Um, so for me, I'm actually gonna put this one a little higher than Wonder Woman, um, just for the the overall story and CGI as far as what's out. And I still put Aquaman higher than this one. Yes. Uh, CGI about the same for the most part. However. Hands down, got to give it to Aquaman because way more yeah. uh, CGI and just awesomeness in that one. So overall, I would say this one's pretty good. Um, now, do you think this is a film they need to see in a the theater? Um, if you want a good action movie and just something fun, you know, buy your time before Endgame. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a good movie. So I would say just go watch it. I mean, it's fun. There's something you want to watch fun. It's entertaining. It's just like, you know, enjoyable. And then from uh, one to five stars, what do you give this one? Uh, 3.5. 3.5, okay, yes. nice, nice. Now, um, I definitely will say that he, you're, it's safe to say you'll, you'll rate this one higher than Dumbo, right? Okay. So if you're, if you're picking as a family film, a family film, would you take them to go see Dumbo or this? I would say this. I would say just say I'm over Dumbo. Yeah, and same here, hands down. Easily a 3.5 for me. Um, it's not as depressing as Dumbo. I can't get into spoilers <laughs> quite just yet. Uh, this film could have easily been a four, I think, with just a few minor tweaks. Very, very minor. Uh, I think some of the CGI moments without giving anything away could have been just a smidge better. Yeah. Uh, and I think that probably would have hyped it up to at least a four. And then a minor tweak here or there for um, some of the story plots uh, that, again, I, don't, I, I can't give away. <laughs> um, but aside from that, very solid um, on this outing. But in my opinion. Yeah, so I feel like DC is, you know, getting themselves on the right track yeah. moving forward. Yeah, I definitely feel that they have learned from where they have not succeeded in the past and um, kind of taken a small page uh, from, from Marvel. And then also, uh, a lot of people don't know or aren't familiar with their animated uh, DC movies. I think they're taking a little bit of um, guidance from that. I know uh, Jeff Johns being on board is helping a lot with that because he, he's done a tremendous job writing comics and then now that he's part of the movie portion of it as well i think it kind of shows yeah so um now outside of this uh i would say definitely check it out this weekend uh even if you haven't seen anything in the last two weeks i think this is the one to go see yes um, unless your horror which our pet cemetery review is yeah. coming out shortly. Yes. Um, anything else you want to add before we wrap it up? Uh, maybe we pretty much covered it without going into spoilers, you know. So oh, I know. Can... I can't wait to do that. <laughs> I can't wait. So, oh, yeah. yeah. This pretty much covered the basis of, you know, spoiler-free review. Spoiler-free review. Um, maybe sequel, maybe not. We'll see how this one does, right? Yes. Never know. All right. Well, I mean, technically, we kind of know that there might be one, right? Yeah. All right. So... Thanks again for watching. We appreciate all the love and the support our channel has been getting. Thank and we'll see you on the How Does It End? Share this to everybody. Share it. Of Shazam. Share it to everybody. <laughs> Peace.